Hey everyone, Jerry here, and welcome to part 3 of my guide to better dwarves. Today, we're talking about animals, um, and how they are different from the vanilla counterparts. But first of all, you have this screen again, with beautiful text and annotations, taking you directly to the timestamp of your choosing. Just leave that here for a second. Right, let's get to it. The first thing I'll be talking about is um, animals now eat off of the ground instead of having to be fed by hand. I mean, as you can see here, you can still feed them by hand and they will breed like normally. Making a beautiful little baby cow here. Um, however, Petal Wolves also adds the option of just dropping the wheat in front of them and they will pick it up off the floor, eat it directly into breeding mode, and bam, baby sheep. This of course is very useful if you like have a bunch of dispensers feeding wheat to your stuff, but it's also a lot easier to ha like have a massive pile of animals breed because you don't have to click every single one of them. One important change in Better Wolves is that uh, baby animals can no longer jump. They can still climb up half blocks, that, but they cannot jump onto a full block like this, so if I take these carrots and eat the pigs away, I should be able to get both the adults up here. Come on. There we go. But as you can see, the baby here, he cannot jump high enough to get on, onto the ledge. So he's stuck in there, giving a way to separate adults from babies. When you dye a sheep in vanilla Minecraft, you permanently change the color into the, um, the color of the dye that you apply. However, um, this does not hold true for better wolves. Instead, every single sheep has two different colors um, stored for it. There is the um, the natural color and the dyed color. So if I dye these sheep here, if I dye them all blue, and share them, I can share the baby of course. Okay, as you can see, this this sheep here has now regrown its wool, and instead of returning to the blue color I dyed it, it is now white again. So it has returned to its normal color. In order to get the different color sheep, you can, which you can, can still obtain. Instead, you need to rely on crossbreeding different color sheep. This is a kind of long process, but at the same time, it also gives value to, value to dyes again. In this little enclosure here, I have two chickens, as you can see. Um, there's been some rather drastic changes to chickens as well in better rules. First of all, um, you cannot make them end up breeding mode with seeds anymore. Instead, you feed them seeds in order for them to lay eggs, which will then, in my setup here, end up in this little hopper here. Where I can then take the eggs and hatch them like vanilla in vanilla. This will either give me, as you can see here, a bunch of raw eggs, or it will give me a baby chicken running around. In vanilla Minecraft, squid can spawn more or less when, wherever there's water. However, normally they tend to spawn in the biggest uh, body of water available. This is also true in Berlin Wolves, um, and even more so because squid cannot spawn at all in very shallow pools of water. They need a significant body of water in order to spawn properly. The next couple of changes have to do with wolves. First of all, um, when a wolf is sitting, it will no longer magically teleport to you, no matter how far away you are. It will remain seated. Like other animals in Berlin Wolves, wolves will also feed off the ground. However, unlike in vanilla, they will not eat uh, rotten flesh, as you see. They refuse to pick up the stuff. If, however, I give them kibble, which is a byproduct made from, among other things, rotten flesh, they will very happily eat it. In addition, you can still breed your wolves like normally if you have them standing and feed them by hand. When wolves are fed in better than wolves, um, eventually they might end up producing a very valuable resource called dung, as you can see here. Dung is incredibly useful in better than wolves as it's used for, among other things, tanning leather, and thus you will never want to be without a healthy stash of dung in your base. In addition, if the wolves are sitting in a dark area, they will have a much higher um, rate of producing this dung after being fed. 